This is Lori with artanddesigns.ca. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Reflect tool, this one right here. And I touched on it briefly in a sport logo tutorial, but because I didn't, I didn't I wasn't, it was a non-talking tutorial, I'm going to go over that pretty briefly here. So let's say you worked really hard and you, you did a sketch, and I'll show you my sketch here in the Layers panel. Let's go to the Layers panel, I'll make that visible. So you can see my sketch here. And let's just turn that off. Now with our guide, if you can't if you can't see your sorry not guide ruler, go to view rulers and there's it was my ruler showing so it'll say hide ruler but yours should say show ruler that's where it's located. So we want that centered. You want that ruler centered and where's your align tab? If you can't find your align, it's everything is up in your windows. So there's a line, a line tab. Make sure that it's centered vertically and horizontally and choose a line to artboard to get the ruler centered. Okay, so we've done all this. So let's select our our artwork here. And with it selected using this tool here, we're going to go down to the reflect tool. And if you can't find it, there's two options in this panel. So rotate reflect, we want reflect tool. Okay, so click on that one. And then click on the, the ruler. Click and it leaves like a circle with a line through it. I'd scroll in, but it, it just stays the same size, so you won't be able to see it. But then we'll click again. We're going to click on the guide, press Alt, and click. And you see it just automatically goes there. Sometimes you get the uh, the panel show up. You'll get like a... Hey, let me see if I can... See, there it is right here. So just you can just click Preview and Copy, and it'll do the same thing. Okay, so that is it for the reflect tool hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you like the tutorial please like subscribe find me on facebook to get updates on new tutorials and as always thank you for watching